Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Jake Smash. This is going to be a Watcher of Realms Faction Trials video. It is 0838, Monday, January the 22nd. And we're doing another challenge today. So we have Infernal Faction Trials open today. No power of dominance to clear it and unlock power of dominance. Dominance you need to beat with the soul core intact and with all heroes alive. If you are doing this for the first time, you do not need to meet both of those requirements in the same run. You can do it in two runs. You can do it once with all heroes alive and the Silk Core not intact, one or two sneak by, and you can do it a second time uh, with the Soul Core intact without all heroes alive. So people can die, but you killed everything, the Soul Core is intact, whatever. It can be done in two runs and you unlock Power of Dominance and make your life easier. Also, if you're trying to clear this for the first time, Use gear swap, all right? Swap your best gear sets from Guild Boss or whatever. Put them onto these champs so that you can clear it. It will make your life way easier, okay? Gear swap is your friend. Now, the challenge today, I already put out a step-by-step -step walkthrough on Infernal 10, 11, and 12. Last week, had a comment, said, I don't have Zilla 2. I can't beat 12 without Zilla 2. Um, so I'm beating 12 without Zilla 2 so, to show you it can be done. You need a Lord, you need Twin Fiend or Pyros, absolutely, to nuke down the boss, um, and you need Cetrum, but I'm not using Hex. I'm keeping Nocturne. I, I don't know if I need him or not, um, but I, I didn't have anyone say, hey, he's not the issue here. I had people say that they don't have Zilla 2, they don't have Hex, so I'm doing it without them to show that it can be done. I'm using Autumn for extra damage, uh, extra crit damage boost. And then Solil's really the MVP here. I don't think I need to use Azoth or Scorch, honestly. They were there kind of as backup. But let's let's just get to the run. So to start off, we need Cetrum down. I'm going to have him facing left. Dolores. Dolores is in Invigoration to give Cetrum an extra 10% attack. And then, since we don't have Zilla 2, we need a way to take care of this. We need a way to take care of this mob coming from the top right. And the way that I do that, let's speed it up just a little bit. There we go. Is with Solil. Solil does great magic damage. I'm going to place her, and then as soon as she's able to, I'm going to pop her ult. You can see her ult bounces from monster to monster to monster, and it uh, it beats them down pretty handily. Next up is going to be your Lord, either Twin Fiend or Pyros, whoever it is. We get them on the board, and then as soon as their ult is ready, we're going to ult all three, Dolores, Cetrum, and Twin Fiend, and we're going to get this nuke off before the shield comes up, so we take away health, and then Cetrum will take over and nuke down the shield, since he does extra damage against shields. Let's get Nocturne down so that he can start building his ult. Get Autumn so that she can build hers. Get Twin Fiend's ult. I don't think, yeah, I don't have time to get it off before. That's okay. We're gonna use Solil's ult again to take care of this mob. And we need to get Titus down really quick before they pass. There we go. And the big thing that we're waiting on is Cetrum. We need Cetrum's ult again to beat the boss down. That's the big one that we need. Place Brunor to help with this top mob. It's Titus. I want to save Nocturne so that he can take care of the two coming from the left. Let's use Ults. There we go. Now this is where I should get the boss taken care of. Now I can use Nocturne's Ult to start taking care of the mobs on the bottom left. Once I beat the boss, you pull your Lord, whoever that is. Use Brunor's ult so that he can start helping a little bit. He doesn't do as much damage here, but he helps some. Everyone is still alive at this point. I'm going to pull Autumn. 
place A's off. Titus is still alive, but just barely. Let's get some extra damage from Nocturne. Titus may not make it. Doesn't look like it. So right there, I would need to pull him. And place Scorch just to kill some time. Pull him. There we go. Nocturne. There we go. And it looks like we're going to get it. If this nuke can land. Oh, bam. Just barely. So I'm not sure if I pulled Titus in time. Or if that last hit got off, but if I if I mistimed that by just a second, I, I can go back and watch it. Either way, just pull him at that last second, like I was trying to do, and I might have mistimed it. But we got it done, right? We got the we got it done, um, even meeting all conditions. So, uh, but you don't need to meet all conditions. Remember, you can let one or two sneak by to keep everyone alive, and you can have some folks die in order to kill all the mobs. So it can be done without Zilla two or Hex. I hope this was helpful. I've got step-by-step -step walkthroughs on all uh, faction trials, stage 10, 11, and 12. Check them out. They're in an easy-to-use playlist on my, on my YouTube channel. I hope you enjoyed this. If you got something from it, support the channel. Like, comment, subscribe, share it with your friends. I will see you in the next one.